wants you. He wants you now. Not later. Not tomorrow. He says, now. When you tell the Lord to give me to the life, same love that we do for the kids it's the same love that God wants for us the same thing I do anything for the Lord I do anything because I know what he did in my life because he changed my life I do anything for him I told him he changed me I'll give my I'll give everything to you. Yeah. Everything. I'm here. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. Take my life. He came into my life. He changed my life. And here I am. Amen. Serving the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. Seeing all those all those kids in Mexico. It was a uh,
open your Bible real quick in uh, Colossians. life, he 
and went back to his master. But you know what God did? He used him. He uses, he used him and he started building churches. Tonight, he bear fruit. God wants you to bear fruit. Amen. 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 He got the message. The message was praised. He said he was preached all over the world. Jesus said to go out, right? Take this message all over the world. When I was reading it, I mean, he, 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 he got me right there. He said, oh, Lord, that is that same message right there. The old message of the whole cross. That one right there went all the way to Central America. And he went to save an, uh, a person, a little kid named George. Yeah. Amen. That same message, that powerful gospel yeah. of the good news. Yes. Because somebody was praying for me. Amen. Paul was praying for this person. He was praying for him. Lord, let not to forget. Lord, use his life. Use him. Wherever he got, use him. God did. See, always somebody, somebody always prayed for you. Somebody always prayed for you. I know somebody was praying for me. That's why I came to know the Lord. Because I know somebody was praying. Amen. And I know who was. When I crossed the border and I was walking, like I said before, this person turned back. I was walking, starving, cold, I was hungry, walking all night, spending my life. Some place it was what time was cold, it was raining, and I was uh, I guess trying to keep myself warm. Uh, how I did it, and I was walking the next day. So this person turned back, you know, and uh, pulled over. He said, "Where are you going?" I told him where I was going. He said, "Well, you need a ride." I said, yeah. He told me himself, the reason I turned back is because God told me to turn back. God told me to turn around and pick you up. He took me home, gave me food, shower, give me some clothes. The first thing he told me
that I got the message. I said, no, but I'll accept him again. Amen. When I was little, myself, like I said, I knew God. So I was going like this, 
in the brakes that I was holding out, they, they broke, and I came down, and I was right there in the middle of the boiling pot, right there. You know what, when I was coming down like this, I was supposed to be dead fried. And somebody pushed me. Somebody pushed me. And I fell right there close to the to the path. Of course, like every mother and parents would do, she got me. She got me real good. You know, I'll blame people, she got scared. You know, and I was this close. You know who's the one to save me? Jesus. Amen. The second time. The second time. So, when I came over here, I came here, I walked all over this place. Walk all over Mexico, starving. I got the order. Thank God, it's me and my brother. They sent us back. I don't know what happened to him. They sent him somewhere else. They sent him back. So, about a month later, he showed up. He said, Let's do it again. I said, Okay, let's go again. No money. No nothing. So it was worse than the first, first time we did. So we walked all the way to here. He left me in Mexico by myself, having no family, just by myself. A 19 year old kid trying to survive in Mexico, in Tijuana, for three years by myself. He told me himself, my own brother, my own flesh and blood, he told me, you need to stay here because you have, you, you, you always in my way. So I gotta go by myself because if you go with me, we won't get caught again because you always get behind me. I said, well, okay. I don't know what I was doing to you myself, so I said, go ahead. I stay here. So I stood there. I went through a lot of Mexico too. I remember when I was going to cross, I crossed the border by myself. I remember going up and checking. I was trying to see how it was. I even told God, I told him, hold me across the other side. Because if I die here, what is going on? That I'm dead. That's not how I'm going by. It's quite grass. The grass. Walk all night, all day. All the way to Escondido. God sent this person. Picked me up. Took me to church. Like I 
I said, on my cell phone, I was laying in the couch. And I asked the Lord for help. That's when I called Jesus. That's when I met Jesus. That's when I told him, Jesus, if you're real, if you change, like you said, you change persons, you change life, they never been the same. If you change my life, if you keep me here, I told him straight, I don't have nobody. I don't have a father, I don't have a God. All I have you is you. You're the one been watching all over me. I told him, if you change me, I'll say, I'll give you my life. That night, that night the Lord was very my prayer. You know why? Because I was calling for my heart. My heart was talking for me. That night the Lord heard me. And I remember sitting there. The Lord sent a special person into my life. This person took me to church.
everywhere I go, I tell everybody about Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord wants for us. Now, what are you going to do tonight for Jesus? God told me himself, I saved you for a reason. There's only one thing. It's for you to bear fruit. For you to tell other people what they don't like. Amen. Amen. I don't want you to just say it here. You don't want you just to say it here. You want us to go out. Yeah. Salvation is for what? For everybody. But how is it going to hear it if you're going to tell nobody? You're going to keep it for yourself. I want it for myself. That's it. I want Jesus to know Jesus to share. Amen. We've got to share Jesus. Amen. 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 And I like it because it says, I mean, it's so beautiful what it says. It says, you know, that message changed your life. It changed you. It transformed you. You're not the same no more. The slave wasn't the same no more. He was slave, but he was, he was free. Amen. You know why? Because Jesus set him free. Amen. Amen. He broke the chains. Amen. He broke the chain of my sin. Amen. I'm not a slave no more of the sins. Amen. 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 He cleaned me with his blood. Yeah. He gave me a new name. Yeah. His name is Child of God. Yeah. Amen. I belong to him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And plus he said, not only will I give you a new name, I will see you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I got the Holy Spirit. I can see you from the Holy Spirit. Everywhere I go, He's going with me. He always show me love, kindness. He always show me to be what? Show love. Show other people kindness. And it's hard to do. Trust me, it is. <laughs> it is. Thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for him, trust me. Oh, man. It is, like I said. That's why I said, oh, Holy Spirit, thank you that I have you in my, in my heart. Yeah. Even at work, oh, this is so hard. I said, Lord, if it wasn't for you, Amen. If it wasn't for you, I'd be, I'd be killing this person. <laughs> <laughs> so if it wasn't for you, I told him. I even told Lord, I can beat him up, and then I can tell you, I can tell him about you. <laughs> you know, he can hit, but Jesus loves you. <laughs> you know, but then that's not love, right? I feel like a person. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Amen. But then I, um, so, I'll finish with this real quick. So it says, the good news is presented with you. It is producing result. It is spread what? All over the world. So, the message that you got, it wants you to be spread all over. Take the seed. Throw it all over. Let it produce fruit. Somebody put a seed at me. It will produce a fruit now. Amen. Amen. It came to life. It came to life. The word of God became life in my life. It became to life. It gave me life. It gave me strength. Amen. It gave me power. If it wasn't for the word of God, I'm nothing. I can't do nothing without him. I need him. We all need him. But God wants to use your life. Yes. Amen. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Amen. Are you ready to be used for God? Yeah. 
How can they use you? They can't use you if you're still in your comfort zone. You to get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. God said, get out of there. Don't stay there. Let me use you. I want to use your life. But you get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. I don't want you there. I don't want you there. Let me use you. Let me use your life. Let me take you places. Let me take you where I want to take you. And show you my power. Show you my love. Show you what I can do in you. Amen. Amen. But how are we going to do it? If we want to just sit there. Yeah. I remember to the Lord, I want you to use me. I want you to use me. Yeah. And the Lord said, well, I was waiting. Yeah. You keep waiting for you. Get out of there. Yeah. But I like it there. Yeah. In my own world. In my own comfort zone. Yeah. I don't want to go over there and tell everybody. They're going to make fun of me. They're going to call me crazy. They're going to call me names. I don't want God. I want you to use me. Use me in the church. Look, I don't want you to use me in the church. I want to take you out. I want to take you over there. That's right. Over there with the people that don't like you. The ones that hate my name. They don't want nothing to do with me. Right there, I want to take you. Jesus said, let that light go shine. Yes. Shine where? Here? <laughs> Jesus said, you can't just keep the light and hide it. He said, I mean, then if you hide it, then the ones that are in darkness, they're not going to see the light. See, you've got to take it out. That's what Jesus said. He said, take it out and show it to the world. Let the light shine yeah. in the darkness. Yeah. And the one that see the light, they will come to you. And the one that see, how you got the light? Yeah. How you find the light? Yeah. You don't tell it was Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus is the light. The light. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm the soul of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm the way. Truth and the light, and nobody comes to the Father but through me. Amen. But how are you going to bring him if you don't want to go and tell them yeah. that Jesus is the answer? Yeah. Yeah. This lady went over there and told them yeah. that Jesus was the answer. Yeah. I found Jesus. I found it in the prison. I found it over there with Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Paul showed me the way. Yeah. Paul told me what I need to do. Paul told me, go and bear fruit yes. for the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We gotta bear fruit. We gotta go there. Amen. We gotta be ready. Amen. Thank God. That God brought me to this church. Amen. I love my pastor. Amen. I love all you guys. Amen. Amen. God brought me here. Yeah. For you for a reason. Yeah. God said, I'm going to use you. Yeah. God said, I'm going to take you places. Yeah. He told me. Yeah. He fulfilled what he told me he was going to do in my life. Yeah. He did. He's doing it. Yeah. Took me to Mexico. Take my family. Took my family. They know. They see. They appreciate what they have now. Yeah. Yeah. Now they appreciate the whole world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Now I want Jesus more. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes we're so spoiled in America. Right. We're so spoiled yeah. that we forget. Yeah. We forget yeah. what life's about. We forget. That's why here in America it's hard for people to bring it to the Lord. Because they got everything. They got everything. Yeah. You go to Mexico, you see all these people, they don't have nothing. Yeah. They don't have nothing. You go over there and take the message, they're ready to receive the message. Yeah. They're ready to receive the gospel. Yeah. Why? Because they're looking for something. Yeah. Something that we have. Yeah. 
Even my wife sometimes has to rebuild me. You're so spoiled now. You forget. Because sometimes I get so picky. I get so picky with the food sometimes. Sometimes I have to rebuild me. I say, Lord, forgive me. Please. I'm sorry.
Are you ready? Are you ready? What is it you doing for him? Amen.
Kuwa Warake. Amen. So go ahead. Well found. So now, the Lord has to give you the fact of God. God has stolen you. What is it you have for me? I give what I have. That was my son. God said, I want your life. I want you. I want to use you. Are you willing? Willing to give everything for the Lord? Trust me. 